hey guys welcome to my channel today for those of you that are new to my channel I make videos about skincare hair care and some videos I was stranded it was not COVID related okay but I was stranded so I didn't really bring a lot of face products I just literally bought my face wash and my face um, lotion so I didn't have like a serum or a toner or anything like that and it's like I don't like being away from my face toner for too long and I know it y'all probably thinking like if you don't like it why didn't you pack it sis I was packing light y'all don't know what that is I do okay you bring necessities only and that's the type of timing I was on brought some toner and I was literally in Walgreens for not that long but the fact that it was taking me so long to decide which toner to get because pixie they just offer so many different um options to use as like a a toning tonic or, or whatever they want to call it but we all know it's still a toner I was just like so confused I'm like looking at it like yo which one should I get which one should I not get like you know it just gave me an idea for my video so this is the one that we're looking at this one is the one that I put on the right side of my face and the reason why I put it on the right I'm gonna put some pictures so you guys can see my skin before I even started using these products to see if it really did help me or no you know what I'm saying cuz it's like I want y'all to see with your own two eyes I put this on this side because this side is the side that I break out the most on I suffer because I have so many breakouts I suffer the most hyperpigmentation scars over on this side it's just the side that needs the most work which is like <clears throat> <laughs> which was why I was like yo I'm gonna have to give like this one because I know glycolic acid is for acne prone skin like I know it works very well with acne so I was just sort of kind of like yo let me just put this on this side as for this side this is the side with the um this one I'm gonna just show it to you guys before I go into it um so this is the retinol tonic and the reason for that being is because like yo like I want glass skin i think i want to try this because it says it has retinol and everybody knows like retinol is kind of good for your skin even if you are on like the younger side of the spectrum you can start at a very young age so that when you get to like 50 you still looking like you know you was looking in your teens and whatnot like so it's like you can still look good when you get older you know so you don't want to be out here with wrinkles and stuff at the age of 55 no i want to look like me right now you know so i'm i'm just gonna start a little bit earlier than everyone else i don't know if y'all peep game but y'all should be on game right now <laughs> and don't forget your neck y'all and your hands <laughs> i'll be all right so i always hear that the telltale like you might not be able to tell someone's age based off their face but you can always tell by their hands and their neck so sis I want y'all to focus when y'all washing your face get the neck okay get the neck put some of the products on your hand take care of the neck and the hand because they out here trying to get us I'm gonna go over the likes and dislikes of them both like completely separately so one thing that I do want to say that I like about this is that it helped with my acne it does help with hyperpigmentation for all my females and melanin that you know suffer from hyperpigmentation scars this is definitely something that will help you with your hyperpigmentation it also cleaned out my pores it does moisturize my skin every single time after I'm done applying this to my skin it feels extremely moisturized um so it did give my skin like a nice glow like it was like a matte glow not like a glow glow where you looking real shiny sis no it's like a hold on So after I apply it to my skin on my cotton round, um, it does give my skin like an extremely smooth feeling. Like it just feels really smooth. Like it did a lot. It you know like some people they always discuss like textured skin and stuff like that, but it's like it makes my skin looks not even look. It, it makes my skin feel very smooth. Like I don't have textured skin, which I do. What I liked about the retinol. So honestly, y'all y'all not gonna believe this, but. 
I was looking, I was in the mirror just looking at my face. I'm like, just looking, like, you know what I'm saying? Just staring at your face. I don't know if some people do that, but I be staring at my face. Sometimes I look for pimples to pop, which is why I'm in the mirror looking. And then, like, I just noticed, like, this side, my pores on this side are much smaller than my pores on this side. And I'm, like, super shocked because at the same time, it's like, yo, I've never used a product that has visibly reduce the size of my pores like to my eyes you know what i'm saying i feel like sometimes you might need a microscope like so kind of like the glow tonic it did moisturize my skin like i'm gonna hop into my dislikes of each products that i didn't really like so something that i really didn't like about this product is that it really didn't help with my acne and once again i will have my pictures up here so you guys can see what i'm talking about because it's like you know y'all just taking my word for it but it's like i got bruises so um it didn't really help much with my acne honestly it didn't clean out my pores but it did like a surface clean of pores out my of my pores it didn't really help with my hyperpigmentation. It wasn't something that faded my acne scars the way how, you know, the glow tonic did that. And I, the reason why I believe that it did that is because it has glycolic acid inside of it. So one thing that I did want to say about this is even though it did fade my hyperpigmentation, the thing that I didn't like about it is that I wanted it to do more. And don't get me wrong, I gave it like a more difficult side to like deal with and like, you know, help with my skincare problems and stuff like that but it's like I really did expect more and that's what I really dislike about the product is that I just had a higher expectation of like what it could do so I would say I would recommend these products for all skin types but at the same time I would recommend this product to someone who doesn't have hyperpigmentation problems who don't have acne prone skin and so forth if you are like you know you're past your acne phase you don't really get acne breakouts or none of that or blah blah blah, blah. I would say definitely give this a chance especially if you're trying to run away from those wrinkles and you're trying to have like smooth supple skin and stuff like that definitely I would say go with this one and for this one this one is more for people with hyperpigmentation skin and for people that has acne prone skin and uh, yeah so with all that being said you guys thank you guys so much for watching my video today please like share and subscribe to my channel